peace and blessings everyone this is intuitive tasha coming to you guys with this quick video i guess you can call it a mini vlog like i did before but the reason for this video is because i'm so excited i'm going to this wooden village i can't even think of the name of it but it's a wooden village and it's in my old neighborhood the bywater part of new orleans okay and a lot of things are different a lot of things i have to get used to um a lot of things like I said, there's a lot of pros and cons of being back home, okay? But the pros that I like is that there's so many new businesses and things are popping up in areas that they didn't have before. And this is one of them, okay? So when I found out it was in my old neighborhood, like literally across the street, I was like, I have to go. And it's so great because the only thing I remember from that parking lot where it's located has always been nothing but woods and to know that somebody purchased that lot and did something like this um to bring a different vibe to the area i am all for that um they have a lot of live performances they have um little programs that go on there little events and i think it's open to the public i'm gonna find out all the information about it if you ever visit new orleans or you're here i'm gonna find out all the information i can about this place and i'm gonna put it in the um description box This is when all of my paranormal spiritual activity happened. This is the neighborhood. This is the area. There's a spiritual portal in this area. So that's why it was so bad for me. It was so prominent for me as a kid because the apartments where I live, I feel like there's a lot of spirits just genuinely in that area. But I didn't want to go to sleep because I was afraid of what I would see or what would come to me. So but also this neighborhood brings back a lot of great memories great friends a lot of us was like really like a family all the way until hurricane katrina happened that's when everybody split up uh, so it's kind of weird coming back here knowing that i won't see my friends i won't see the people i consider family and seeing people that i've known all my life um so it's strange all new faces everywhere even the energy is different um but i'm glad there's a place here like this to come and visit and maybe i can make new memories so let's see well, i should know what sand loose y'all there's a lot of sand <laughs> But here it is. Here it is. Let me see if I can find the entrance. I had to come here because you was afraid of the snakes in the area. <laughs> so I'm still kind of spooked out about that. Hoping nothing jumps out at me, but huh, so far so good. Alright, you guys, we have made it to the entrance finally. So let's see. Say welcome to Music Box Village. Hi. This is my first time here, so. Oh, cool. <laughs> This is the main profit of the New Orleans Airlift, which is an arts, um, okay. artist-driven nonprofit collective that um, facilitates collaborations between artists of different mediums and genres. So here we really highlight like DIY artists and the welders and builders and um, inventor class of artists that are you know, really established here in New Orleans. Okay. And so at this site, what we have are all of these pieces of musical architecture. 
Mm -hmm. So each has different sonic elements built into it throughout. So you can see some are like conventional instruments, but sort of turned upside down and done our way. Mm -hmm. Others are just really original um, sound art in installations and sculptures that sort of make more ethereal or more noises than they are traditional or conventional instruments. Um, our newest house over here, it's called Elevator Pitch, was actually done in collaboration with a deaf sound artist. The concept being in her youth, her and her friends sort of enclosing themselves in an elevator and letting out some screens to really feel the space fill with sound. Uh, awesome. Those are those vibrations we were just talking right. about too. And so that house actually has some of that built into, um, into the walls and the floor so that if you make sound in there, and it also features the voices of 13 different deaf folks from Louisiana. So you know you can wow. hear their, their screen, their voices, but also feel the echoes of that throughout. And it's really, really beautiful. That is amazing. Yeah. Now tell everybody about the event that's going on tonight sure. and how long you guys are going to be open for the summer. I know you said y'all closing next month, right? Yeah, that's right. So right now, what's happening today are called our public hours. And, you know, we don't give any instructions or anything, but we tell folks, come on out, explore the village, and just, you know, get in here and see what, what speaks to you. Mm -hmm. um, we're open Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. through June. And then tonight is the last event of our season. It's called Teddy's Twilight Serenade. And six musicians are going to be here with their instruments, but then also really, really incorporating these installations into their set. And it happens at twilight, so it's really beautiful in here. And we set up... Um, tables for folks to sort of gather as a community and really be immersed in this this village so okay. it's really sweet and that's uh doors are at seven and the show is at eight tonight awesome. and we have a bar um and refreshments on site we'll have a food vendor and yeah we just we like to to be open and bring people together and and such a fun adventurous like thoughtful space so well i appreciate Come you, out, see you. I appreciate you <laughs> so much you, thank you appreciate you thank you lovely to have folks that used to actually be in know this space and see right how, and how I, like i was saying i'm glad it. that you guys are doing something great with this space i grew up in this neighborhood so it's yeah. nice to have something like this to come home to and visit so beautiful right. love it thank you, thank you.
in here. Alright, so this says Deaf Voices of Louisiana. So. Oh, shoot! Alright, that was loud. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is definitely a music box. Let's try the low pitch. Wow. So we're in the elevator, and every time you press the, the buttons, it makes a noise. All right, everybody, I am out of there. I had a blast, oh my God. Like, how can you have a blast with noise, you're probably thinking. But, if you guys don't know, certain sounds help clear your vibration, clear your area, clear your, um, your energy. So, to have something like this in this neighborhood that you can just come and just beat on things and hear different sounds and all of that it's kind of therapeutic to be honest and it's fun and it's for anybody it's for children it's for adults um if you are into spiritual work and know um the importance of uh vibrations and how sound changes that you will love this so if you're in the new Orleans area please stop by and check them out and I think I'll be back tonight because I would love to see this place at night under the moonlight, under the night lights, and see all of that. I definitely may try to get back. If all right, everyone, I have made it home. I hope you enjoyed that footage from the Music Box Village here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I had a blast. If you want to see more vlogging, um, come with me on my adventures in New Orleans comment on the comment section below i'm new to vlogging and all of that so bear with me okay bear with me but if you want to see more of those things from me just comment in the comment section and i will consider doing more of them okay if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe join the magic tribe we would be happy to have you also click the notification bell so you can know when i post my next video i love you guys thank you for coming on this journey with me it was so great to go to my old neighborhood it brought back so many memories good and bad especially spiritually because i was seeing everything ghosts black shadows all kind of things so i was living there <laughs> so it brought all those memories back it brought back um just the, the just the togetherness and just the you know family oriented neighborhood that we had you know and I wish that everybody was still there but things happened Katrina happened everybody's so scattered you know but anywho thank you for tuning in and until next video peace and blessings